The iPad's calendar app is an excellent tool for organization. It saves me every day. Every time I find out I have to do something, or I decide to do something, or I ask somebody else to do something, I enter it in my calendar, and I set an alert for the day of and the day before. So the first thing I see in the morning when I open up my iPad is a little reminder saying, okay, do this, or this has to be done. So let's tap on the calendar icon, tap. And we're seeing the month view. We're seeing the entire month of August. It's the current month for me. Because that's the last thing I was looking at. You'll see up here there are choices. We can view the entire month. We can view our week. Or we can view just today. This is my kid's first day of school. And you'll see down here you can scroll down through the days. Or weeks or months. So if we wanted to look at next month, September, nice animated page turn and you can see September. Let's go back to August. We can also view things as a list, so it's all of our appointments and things to do. So let's go to day view, day, and we want to add an event. So we'll add an event by hitting this little plus in the lower right corner, tap, and we have add event. So we'll say calendar tutorial. Okay, and the location, home. You don't have to put this in if it doesn't help. And it will start at, well, it's 12.52 uh, p.m. So we'll start with 1 p.m. It's already there to be helpful. And we'll say it ends at 2 p.m. and done. And then repeat. No, it doesn't repeat. We're not going to do this every day. But if you wanted to, you could have it repeat every week, every day, and different, uh, different things. If you have something that occurs every month on the first of the month, like pay your mortgage, then you can set that so an alert comes out uh, every month. If something is happening every day for, say, eight days, you can hit every day. And then uh, once you do that, then you could set it for ends. Uh, and set a date where the uh, the daily thing ends. But we don't want daily. So I'll hit none. Done. So now we have alert. We want to set the alert. Now it says none right now, so the calendar would not remind you of an event. It would have you'd have to check the actual calendar. But we want to set the alert, set an alarm. Uh, now notice we can do 15 minutes before, 30 minutes before, an hour before, two hours before, one day before. Now this is what I usually do. I do one day before, done. And then um, I make a second alert, and maybe two hours before, right? And I hit done. And now I have set an alert. First, I would get an alert the day before. So on the day before, I turn on my iPad, and the first thing that I see is a little reminder across the middle of the screen saying calendar tutorial tomorrow. So if I hadn't gotten to it, or I hadn't prepared something, it would remind me, oh, yep, tomorrow I have to have that video ready. Then the second alert, two hours before, oh, yep, in two hours I have to post that, that video. Anytime you agree to do something, you simply set an alert, and you don't have to worry about it, and you know that you will be reminded. What if you wanted to edit an event? Tap, you get the menu back, and you could change something. One of the things I didn't mention before, you can make notes. Okay, so uh, if I wanted to make notes about this calendar tutorial, be brief. Okay, so uh, I can add a note to myself to, as a reminder that has to do with my event, or something that I have to remember to bring with me or complete by the time of the event or, or anything like that. That can go in the notes section here. So I edited my, uh, my alert, done, and there we have it. Now you notice there's a little search window inside of calendars, so you could search for a specific type of event, and we'll type in uh, orientation. Let's see how that works. Search. And now I see uh, the listings. These are the times for orientation. So you can search for events and find them that way. So the iPad calendar, a great tool for organization.